So there is a clock on the side, on the floor, we are told, that they can utilize. Going old school. Here we go. You can see the clock on your screen at home. We know that's what you care about. We are underway in Atlanta. Georgia Tech in the home whites. Louisville on the road reds. Yellow Jackets have the ball first. Okay. Both these teams guard really well. So it's going to be interesting to see who has to make the first adjustment, obviously Louisville with their different lineup started making adjustments. So we'll see how Georgia Tech plays against a bigger Louisville lineup to begin with. Nina Ricards picks up her first with a hand check some 25 feet from the rim. I think Jeff Wall still talking about what we were discussing. It is late February. There you see the clock on the floor so you can see what's happening on this end. A little bit of a different setup today in Atlanta. Blackshear has it. Shot clock down to eight. It's hard for us to see. And a little bully ball inside for Kara Dunn. Coach, you mentioned the different starting five for Louisville. Just the third different starting lineup utilized by Jeff Walls this season. Easton Bulalu will get to start for her first start. Marissa Russell will as well. And so a bigger starting five for head coach Jeff Walls against the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, just a bit undersized. The Yellow Jackets you have Dunn and Blackshear who aren't very big. So even though you see Eastern Bololu, she is an outside presence more. She's so not necessarily inside. So going to see if Georgia Tech is able to drive from the perimeter with the bigger players of Louisville. Tony Morgan, the steal and the turnover. And now Jada Curry checks in for the first time. After Ricard's got the starter, 23rd of the season, and the Florida transfer will hear a word or two from her head coach. Well, I was all ready to talk about free throws <laughs> to start a game. Yellow Jackets starting five. Rado for 22, the ACC Rookie of the Week. And another steal. Morgan connects coast to coast. Well, Louisville against Boston College had seven turnovers in the first quarter. They rectified that against Virginia Tech, but not starting off well here today against Georgia Tech. Jackets now to match up zone outside to Curry for three. Looking for the lid lifter. She won't find it. The put back by Cochran is good. And there's where you'll see the difference in second chance opportunities and points in the paint for Louisville. Houston is the ACC Rookie of the Week. He's coming off a couple of standout performances. There's a Russell. And she was clipped on the way up and out of bounds. Already three substitutions for Louisville. We haven't even gotten through the first four minutes of the first quarter. What do you make of that? That's an interesting dynamic to start bigger and then electing to go with the quick subs. Well, you, you know, you try something, you, something he didn't like, and so he made those adjustments. Um, so not unusual, but sometimes what you try doesn't work and you have to adjust. Curry gets it to Cochran. And then outside, it's a deep three, and it's all net for Nyla Harris. Check that, Sydney Taylor. There's Sydney Taylor from downtown. Long Island native. Started her career at UMass. Carts had their first lead. You see Tony Morgan playing, playing the two here, trying to get her so she doesn't have to worry so much about initiating the offense and make her more of a scorer for Georgia Tech. Kara Dunn shifted that pivot foot. It slid and bumped the traveling violation. Yeah, just nice ball movement, but Coach still was not happy. I think he wanted that ball to go inside first and then out. Still got the bucket. Got the bucket. Can't be that grouchy. Well, we talked to him today, so <laughs> I mean, you know, he's a perfectionist. He talked in practice about just making sure that you, you know, you see what they're trying to see. And they were trying to get the ball into the post. He was, Cochran was in short corner. Uh, but sometimes you run the play just to run the play. You've got to run it, but look at the options you have. And if you have something before you get to the next pass, you take advantage of it. Outside to Taylor, and she connects. Sydney Taylor, back-to-back -back triple. She's got six, cards lead it by four. Yeah, just a, such a smooth shooter. Catch and shoot, nice motion. Good ball movement by Louisville. So an eight-nothing burst, and here's Dunn coming off the 31 at NC State. 
Blackshear, the spin up and under and out of bounds. See, there's where you have the advantage. If you're Georgia Tech, you, you're bringing those post players up to the elbow. Really, she should have taken that shot at mid-post instead of driving in. Jackets back in the matchup zone. They'll feed it to Cochran. Inside out, there it is for Curry. Laredo, draw the double team and then give it up to Morgan. Blackshear inside in the left hand, no. Yeah, there's the advantage, you gotta make that shot though. What would be the word that you would use to describe Jeff Wallace today at shoot around? Uh, intense. I was going to say feisty. Yeah, he was, uh, because he's concerned about the details, right? Um, you, you tell kids to do something for a certain reason. You want a passing angle from a certain area for a certain reason. And they're just going, sometimes they go through the motions. And you want them to understand why that you're telling them to do a certain thing. So he was very intense and feisty about that, too, because he's really looking down the line. Not that he's taking this game for granted, because this is a really important game for him to win, but consistency on those small things is what's going to get them far in the postseason. And one of the things he told us, we've brought Final Four teams into this building, and it's taken a last-second layup to win on both occasions. Curry with the mid-range, and now a 10-0 run by the Cardinals. The lead at six. Well, Georgia Tech's going to guard. It's going to be tough playing them in their home on their home court. Nearly halfway home in our first quarter. Jackets without a point in the last three plus minutes. Morgan inside, and that changes here. Tony Morgan with a chance for three in the personal on Curry. That's her first. And they want to try to get her on the move, give her more opportunities to get downhill. And she is very good at taking contact and finishing the shot. Curry didn't like the call, but clearly a foul. She was scraped across her chin. This kid came in last year as a freshman, physically ready to play in the ACC. I was so impressed with her last year. At 23 at NC State, short on the free throw, Cochran clears. Curry will push tempo to Kiki Jefferson, one of her first touches. And inside, out of bounds, the entry pass was too high. Curry turns it over. That'll be the third turnover on the Cardinals. Well, Louisville. Turn the ball over here. They got to do a better job, not create opportunities for Georgia Tech. And a nice ball movement there, though, to create the three point shot for Sidney Taylor. When you're great, your game does the talking. In the ACC, our speaks volumes. 26 appearances in the Final Four, including nine different schools, five teams in the last five NCAA Final Four, 40 teams in the NCAA Tournament in the last five years, most of any conference. A nation best eight ACC teams competed in the 2023 NCAA Tournament. It's not bragging if it's true. Greatness is what we do. The ACC, accomplish greatness. Now for just $1.99, enjoy the Sonic Quarter Pound Double Cheeseburger. Because we value value just as much as we value tasty burgers, we decided to shrink the price of this melty fan favorite. In finance, they call that one heck of a deal. $1.99 Sonic Quarter Pound Double Cheeseburger. You and auto owners help make it possible. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Excuse me? <gasps> Third best thing. Auto owners offers discounts for life, home, car, and business insurance because the more you protect, the more you should save. That's simple human sense. When you have a history of greatness, the real challenge starts after the finish line. When victory alone isn't enough, you raise your bar, keep dreaming, and go beyond the limits of what you ever thought possible. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda, Drive clarity and accountability at scale with Asana, a smarter way to work. You're me. Yep. I surf? Haven't we always wanted to? We opened a high yield savings account at Synchrony Bank. Spent the extra money on surf camp. Invest in you. Save with SynchronyBank.com.
ACC Women's College Basketball is presented by Ally. Whatever you're saving for, we're all better off with an Ally. Back in Atlanta, and a good start for the Louisville Cardinals, ranked 20 in the country, but for Georgia Tech, a team that has shown a lot of improvement, Coach, since last season. Yeah, we talked earlier today with, uh, with Coach Nell Fortner about the incremental uh, improvement that you see in a team, and people don't pay enough attention to that. We'll see later specific players who have improved, but those areas make a huge difference over the course of the year and over the course of the season. Points per game up, times drop up, ACC wins up. Offense certainly has been improved, and this player right here, one of the reasons why, Rusna, ACC Rookie of the Week, Gustinaiti. Jackets have it out of the timeout and a traveling violation called on Kara Dunn. So you see this zone with Georgia Tech because Louisville's so good driving downhill. They're trying to keep him out past the three-point line. You see Louisville was sort of a five out. They'll give it, get it inside whenever they can or they'll get a shot. Curry for three. Third made triple for Louisville. The lead up to seven. And we asked Jeff Walls today, too, do you coach a little different this late in the season as we get closer to March? He said, yeah, coming up in about a week and a half, we'll start to be a little bit more, I don't remember the exact word he used, but it was authoritative in kind of their instruction and they'll start to tighten the screws on a number of things, I believe is how he framed it. And just to make sure that they have the I's dotted and the T's crossed before we get to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, well, he, the word he used was, uh, you know, I challenged him a little bit more. Yeah. He knows what's coming. Uh, so he's got a timetable in his head in terms of what he needs to do for his team. Coach, you have a much better memory than me. You're <laughs> definitely a former coach. Harris, whirling Dervish inside. And Nyla connects. She has become such an integral part of this team. When I did her game earlier this year against Wake Forest, I thought she was an X factor. Now she is an integral part of their offense. Just a high motor, good basketball IQ, plays hard. And you see the result in that move she made down there on her end. Blackshear with the shot clock winding down. Inside, no, and Cochran rips away the board. See, those are good opportunities on the drive. They've got to finish those. Taylor, the runner. Gustinati. And the elbow jumper too strong. Who wants it? It's Cochran again. Boy, she's been a force inside. She's a force on both ends. Hadn't really scored too much that, uh, on the offensive end, but on the defensive end, been a real big force. About five rebounds already. Jefferson off the mark. And a rebound. Jump ball. Georgia Tech with the jump ball award, and it'll stay on this end. Won Adenas grabbed it before she was tied up quickly. You definitely, if you're Louisville, you don't want to forget about Cochran. I know she hasn't scored a lot, but you've got to look for her in your offense. What was it like for you in this conference closer to March? Was it, did it feel different? Did you coach a little differently? Cochran connects on her first bucket. I mean, you, you try not to because you want your players to take it game by game, but in your head, you've got to, you know, you understand what's coming, so you got to plan for that. 17 to 6, Nell Fortner has seen enough. 2.37 remaining in our first quarter. We are back in 30 seconds. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. Can they handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the Smart Choice in Time. So Jeff Walls is standing right in front of us here. I don't want him to look at this graphic because he doesn't <laughs> want to compare this team to the team that made the run in the Final Four two years ago. But you look at some of the numbers, hey, cards are a little bit better offensively. Uh, the defense maybe is where he would like them to get a little bit better when you take a look at opponents' point per game. Yeah, well, you got to shore that up if you're going to go far in the postseason. But 
They've had 10 or more wins in conference in the last 10 years. That's, I don't think any other team in the conference has done that. So this is a tremendous job by Jeff Waltz. Second personal on Jada Curry. She's going to get a breather. Nina Ricards checks back in, 15 in red. Coach, I do have to admit, this is the first time I've ever called a game in this arena, and you got the coaches right in front of you. So it's like they can hear what you're saying about that three by Dunn. 32% this season. That percentage will go up a little bit. Would that make? Well, she's a much more confident three-point shooter. She's always had the ability, but this year, I think, much more confident. I mean, you could see yourself saying something, and Coach could hear it right in front of us. And I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know if he would appreciate it or not appreciate it. Step back three, Sydney Taylor in and out. Jefferson on the offensive glass, up and in. Well, Kiki, the one word I would use to describe her is gritty. I mean, she does so many different things for this team on both ends of the court. Leading scorer, does a decent job on the boards, and can play some defense. There goes Tony Morgan again. Uh, Morgan, I, I think it's working really well for her, you know, trying to play that off ball and then, then put it in her hands and let her go downhill. She's really difficult to stop. Taylor, a heat check and off the mark. She made her first two. Opportunity for Tech, trailing by eight. And the handles with Morgan behind the back, between the legs, all over the place. And too strong. For Carter, check that black shoe. Shooting percentage for the post for Georgia Tech, not very good. They missed a lot of, by my count, four or five easy shots at the basket. Fourth turnover for the Cardinals. Sidney Johnson checks back in, and Blackshear goes out. So this is a tiny, tiny uh, lineup for Georgia Tech. We'll see what they do on offense. I was going to say, does it feel like Nell Fortner's trying to press some different buttons here to ignite something offensively? And yeah, just trying to find a groove here. This is a set play here that, and you get the foul. Second on Ricards. So Ricards has to, Curry has to. And Jeff Walls will have to go a little deeper into his bench. Aaliyah Love checks in, and her first time in this building since he played at Georgia Tech. But he can do that. Not one of his players averages over 27 minutes a game. As you see, it the night day on offense. So not too big of a deal that he's having to rotate some players here early. Gustinaiti connects. The lead down to six. ACC Rookie of the Week. Taylor's been open for a couple of threes, this time inside, oh. and the floater is good. And that's what Coach Fortner was worried about, was him getting downhill to the basket. Taylor's so talented. I mean, she averages less than 10 points per game coming in. She has eight in the first quarter, and the lead is eight with the shot clock off. Had to look over to make sure the shot clock wasn't functioning there because it's on the side, not above the backboard tonight. Five seconds remaining, and stepping out of bounds is Love. So Aaliyah Love gained control with a rebound and couldn't keep her balance on the court. 5.1 seconds remaining in our first quarter. Johnson gets it to Morgan. Love the rebound, and she's got a hurry. In the first 10 minutes in the books, the story so far, Sydney Taylor with eight first quarter points. The lead for Louisville is at eight at 21 to 13. Before this week, Helen, but Georgia Tech has never defeated Louisville since the cards joined the ACC. It's Tech with possession first to start our second quarter. Turnovers have played a major role so far. Three Louisville live ball turnovers have resulted in four Georgia Tech points, but the uh, seven combined Georgia Tech turnovers have led to 13 points by the Cardinals. And Georgia Tech in the player-to-player -player defense now, so going to need some help on those drives downhill. Jefferson to Love, the Georgia Tech transfer. Swiped out of bounds back to the Yellow Jackets. 
So you're telling me in your time as a coach, got closer to March and the madness and the chaos in the ACC tournament. You were always, this is how we happen, this is how we're going to be, and that was the right way to do it. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to make too many tweaks, right? You want to stay with what you have, tinker a little bit, but if you try, if you do too much, then that's just... The players sense it. Yeah, it messes up the team vibe, and, the, and you, you get out of a groove. So you make the changes you need to make. Great backdoor cut and a foul call. will put Morgan at the line. Well, Georgia Tech talked about that earlier today. That's how you beat pressure. You make it work against the team by going back door. So good effort there. That's exactly what they practice. That's a brilliant bounce pass. I'm not even their coach, and I'm proud of that. That's exactly <laughs> what they practice. It looked good. The foul was on Ricards. That's her third. So Nina probably on the bench for the rest of this half. Cochran comes in for Harris. And how about the kind bounce for Tony Morgan, a 63% free throw shooter. Lead down to six. Here comes Georgia Tech. Charlie Cream has the Yellow Jackets, his last team in that next four out graphic, if that makes sense. So they are on the bubble inside in love. It's her first points coming back in to Atlanta. Yeah, nice job spreading the defense out. Nice pass into the post, which they can do in terms of inside out play. Dunn inside, too strong. Cochran, another rebound. That'll be her seventh. Here's Curry with a pass. The Euro and a charge called. And that's going to be the third on Jada Curry. So a pair of Louisville teammates in the backcourt, Nina Ricards, Jada Curry, both with three fouls. Cincinnati, the high ball screen to Morgan. She'll probe the left side and connect. Yes, that's what that's what uh, Coach was worried about. Coach Waltz was worried about her getting downhill, going to the basket. So he's going to put Ricards back in. Curry remains on the floor with the three fouls. Ricards getting set to check back in with three fouls. Cochran lost the handle. Black here. Cochran tried to do a little too much. She can hit that short corner. Probably should have taken that shot. We're going to split the double team and is called for the travel. Charlie Cream, the SPN bracketologist, tells us in a very succinct way that Georgia Tech has a chance. Coach, they're in position to be in position. Nell Fortner knows that. Her team wants to play in the postseason. The last team in his next four out really makes this game a must win when you think about it. It does. Well, earlier today, she was you know, feeling really good about how her team felt about their ability to get into the postseason. They're doing the work to get there, but it's definitely a must win game. Number 67, the updated net rankings. You see 0-11 versus teams in the top 50. Istan Bulolu connects on just her fourth made three this season. Yeah, that's a good sign for head coach Jeff Walls if she's making deep shots. It is. When you watch her in practice, she hits them consistently. It might not reflect with the uh, You told me that stats, about four hours ago <laughs> watching her shot. <laughs> she can, she's got a nice stroke. See, there's where you, you cannot challenge Louisville right there at the block. You've got to get those defenders on the move. And that time you see there the block. Taylor, a nice move in traffic and a blocking foul called. Means two free throws coming for Sydney Taylor. Laredo picks up her first. We'll take another look. Taylor, 70% free throw shooter. Eight points in the first quarter. Give her nine now. 
Here it is. Yeah, see, so you, you've got to get on the move. You've got two big players there at a 6-3. You can't shoot over them. You've either got to take that shot at the elbow or mid post or get them at the high post and then drive. Largest lead at 11. Ties the largest advantage so far for the Cardinals, 28-17. So Louisville in a zone now. Georgia Tech, nice rebound there by Blackshear. Up and back in. That's the hard part about a zone is you got to figure out who to box out. A little bit easier in player-to-player -player defense to figure out who you have to put a body on. Blackshear doing a great job of aggressively going for that offensive rebound. See, nobody boxed her out. Back to live action. Baseline Taylor bottled up and outside to Cochran. And she can hit that shot with the mid-range. She has improved so much. That was one of the things that Coach Waltz wanted her to work on. If she feels if, to get to the next level, needs to be consistent with that. And she has been this year. Cochran with six points and eight rebounds with six to go in the half. Done inside, working hard and spins it in. See how fast Louisville gets the ball down the floor. Defense doesn't get set. East on Bulolu, too strong. Harris comes in, Ricards with the three fouls, checks out. When Jeff Walls has been wheeling and dealing with all the different substitutions. Different starting lineup tonight. Just the third different starting five for the Cardinals this year. But not unusual for them. I mean, they're used to rotating at least nine players every game. You see the bench points. Already 19 for Louisville. Dump off and a foul call. A good drive by Russell. The good thing about Louisville, if you're the team, like they have to prepare for more than just one person. Some of his teams in the past has had, you know, like Angel McCautry, they've had that key player that people could really focus on. You can't really do that here with Louisville because you've got different lineups. Taylor has been aggressive. Off glass, free throws coming for number one in red. So that's the danger you have when you go player to player if your Georgia Tech is guarding that downhill. In the zone, it wasn't really working, so they switched. So you got to figure out, got to figure out what you're going to do. Sydney Taylor, 10 points tonight, two assists. Mentioned she transferred in from UMass, was an All-A-10 performer in her career there. And don't forget, coming up Sunday, women's basketball matchups. Number 19, Notre Dame takes on Boston College up first at noon. A triple header headed your way. Got North Carolina and Virginia Tech. The Hokies in the top 10 at 2. Presented by Food Lion. Then State and Duke at 5.30. Sunday, right here on ACC Network. Ten-point advantage for the Cardinals. And there's a... This match there, we had Blackshear. She should be at the block right now because you've got a smaller player on her. You asked Jeff Walls an interesting question today. It was very simple, but it was, hey, what happened against Virginia Tech last week? <laughs> it's our only home loss of the season at the Yum Center. His response, did it surprise you? Uh, no, not really because I know him, but it was just funny. He's like, they were better than us. Uh, I was trying to do the more, you know, X's and O's thing and talk about scouting report and as you see Sydney Taylor going on her own mini run, which she does often. And he was just like, you know, they're just better than us. It surprised me, and then you did a great job with continuing the conversation because he was done with the question. <laughs> you kept it going. Taylor now the team high 13. Check it, 14 with that last three. It's been a minute since Taylor's had a big game, so I'm not surprised there that she's starting to have her own little mini run. 34 to 21, the Cardinals with their largest lead of the game on the road in Atlanta. Try to bounce back after that tough loss. You and auto owners helped make it possible. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Excuse me? Third best thing. Auto owners offers discounts for life, home, car, and business insurance because the more you protect, the more you should save. That's simple human sense. 
You ever feel like the only place you can find cars is in car commercials? Oh, this isn't a car commercial. This is an Auto Trader commercial. And this is one of the millions of new and used cars that you can find on Auto Trader. You can find cars like the ones on your favorite show. Oh, no. Or the car in this show. Get out the water. I bet I can even find the cars in my feet. Sure can. You can even find a car in that movie on Auto Trader. Hey, find your own car. Here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. We know how to hand stuff our crust with more flavors than anyone else. <laughs> like the garlicky seasoned cheese in our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza. We're talking Papa John's iconic garlic sauce flavor mixed with cheese and stuffed right into the crust of your pizza. <laughs> I mean, no one stuffs a crust like Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> Try our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza. Available now only at Papa John's. I bought three of the same jacket to get the fourth free. I subscribed to get a deal on these memory supplements, then forgot to cancel. Yeah, well, you know, recognizing a bad deal is a part of the journey. Yes, Eva, would you like to share your breakthrough? I got AT&T's best deal on the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and got to choose my plan. Oh. Yes, we don't make you sign up for the top tier plan to get our best deal. I still haven't gone. I subscribe to get yeah, a deal. Yeah, know. Get the newest Galaxy on us with any of our best plans, guaranteed. Our generation isn't turning away from the world's problems. Watch us fly ahead, rise to every challenge, and overcome anything. Watch us become the next greatest generation. Surviving in the game don't depend on what you think. It depends on what you do. So what's the next move? We're going national. Which means more eyes are on us. We are about to fly. Welcome to the ATL. BMF has a bright future ahead of us. Well, Sydney Taylor on her own little mini run here. If there is such a thing as a quiet run, I mean, she is 50% from the field, three for six from three point range, four for eight field goal percent, and she's got 14 points, 14 of the 34 points for Louisville. She averages 10 per game. She's got 14 already. And a bona fide scorer when you talk about the fact that she has over 1,500 points in her career that goes back to UMass inside the Atlantic 10. That experience for all those seasons and now playing in the ACC, you have to think come March, tournament time, the ACC tournament, the big dance itself, it will pay massive dividends. Well, and, and for her, it took her a minute to, to figure out how to be that scorer against a higher level defense. She struggled a little bit at the beginning of the year, but uh, it's come on here toward the end of the regular season. Helen Williams, Roy Philpott, halfway home in our second quarter. Good start for the visitors from Derby City. Taylor on cue, lays it in. Got a little fist pump for Coach Waltz. He liked that. He hasn't liked much, despite the fact <laughs> his team leads by 15. <laughs> and the three is drained. Augusta Knighting. That's a kid that has so much fun playing. I love watching her. You can bet when she gets in, it's going up. The question is, is it a good shot? Real quick release. She came over today before walkthrough and gave me a tutorial how to correctly pronounce her last name. I appreciated that. I asked Coach Fortner if she could kind of go through the same skills and show off how much she has uh, learned it and wasn't really quite the same response. <laughs> like all coaches, we understand. But Rusna has been fantastic this year. We mentioned the ACC Rookie of the Week. And as a volume shooter, she's got a chance to put up some big numbers and help this team to an entirely different level through the course of her career. Yeah, good label for her. I'm, I'm really looking forward to her development over the next couple of years. Russell too strong. Jackets clear. And I stole your words there, and you're thinking that her potential really could be off the charts when she starts to rein things in a little bit at times. Not bashful as a freshman. The rebound claimed by Blackshear. But that's what Georgia Tech needs. I mean, they've got Morgan who came in who can contribute right away. You need a couple of other more players who are confident, even as a freshman. Taylor picks up the loose ball. Cards in transition and traveling the violation on Nyla Harris. 
Unfortunate for Georgia Tech there. I mean, that's another live ball turnover. They have allowed Louisville to get 19 points off of 12 turnovers, and they're live turnovers. So they're creating offense for Louisville. Five so far in the second quarter for the Yellow Jackets. Black chair open, the elbow. That was extended in and out. Well, that's a good shot. Coach Fortner wants her to take that shot more. With a mid-range jump shot, you don't see a lot of those in basketball these days. Mid-range does not get on the ESPN top 10. Does Wins not. Wins games, but it doesn't get on the ESPN top 10. Jefferson, Harris, Blackshear the board. Bill Jeff Walsh was talking with his team today at practice and said, we don't make our free throw line jumpers, not the shots at the line after you've been fouled, but the mid-range shot, he goes, we're going to struggle. And he told every member of his starting five that very fact. Morgan was bumped. Taylor didn't like the call, but two free throws coming for Tony Morgan. Yeah, she's so good off the dribble. Look how high she gets on that jumper. I don't know, Coach. That Not a lot of contact right there. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see a whole lot either. The hand was in the face in a very abrasive way, but I don't know that there was ever contact made. But you make a good point about the mid-range jumpers because everybody knows that Louisville, they're really good driving downhill, and you got to get that defense out. Here's our next gymnastics meet right here on ACC Network, the ESPN app, Sunday, February 25th. And don't forget, NC State ranked in the top 25 at Pitt. That's at 4 o'clock Eastern on ACC Network here on the app. Now, if you watch that replay again, Sidney Taylor got as close as humanly possible to Tony Morgan without making contact with the hand squarely in the field of vision as she released the shot. Taylor again and a chance for four on the other side. Talk about a heater. Well, this is a great sign for Louisville that she's playing so well here. Good ball movement, nice extra pass. An opportunity for a four point play. 19 points for Sid Taylor. Yeah, Blacks are just late on the rotation out there, and that's due to the great ball movement of Louisville. And the 19 that you see is a new season high. Make it 20 for the hard way, Coach. I want to know what she had for breakfast this morning. I want to have some tomorrow morning. She has been incredible tonight. Laredo, the bounce pass. Nice back door. Ah. Here's Jefferson in the open court. Cochran, a quick spin. Outside to Taylor, and here we go. That's another three. You see, that's a teammate knowing that her teammate's hot. Cochran could have done a reverse layup there, but she kicks it out to Taylor, who's hot. 23 points for number one in red. And she's got 15 in this quarter. 43 to 26. A special night for the visitors so far. And Taylor's locked in on defense. And Louisville doing a great job of not allowing Georgia Tech to get into their offense. You see there, she could have gone up and gotten a foul, but she knows that her teammate is hot. She'll trade the three for the two. Teammates a little bit excited. And that March 5 here at Atlanta, Taylor just picked up her second foul. Boy, tough to bring her off the court given what we've seen so far. Only 52 seconds remain in the half, however. Yeah, smart to get her out so she doesn't get that third one. Tech struggling to get quality shots here. Here's Jefferson, the right side, and an offensive foul called. 
Kiki picks up her first, the lead at 17. And that's what he's talking about. That's why he wants them to hit those big range jumpers. As Georgia Tech knows they're going to drive and they're taking charges. We know everybody is excited to talk about this first half and our halftime report coming up in about 17 seconds. Big night in the ACC as always. Here's Morgan. Morgan, the hesitation, a little stop and pop, and she drains it. Morgan, a big bucket, and Jefferson, a desperation heave. Online, but short, and 20 minutes in the books. Taylor has team have a chance to get into the dance. Tech opens up in their matchup zone. Here's Cochran baseline. And the rebound cleared by Kara Dunn. Do you want to see anything differently for Tech on offense to start the second half, Coach? A little bit more movement, maybe some more screens on the ball, and some that maybe some pin downs for Morgan so she can catch and then get down the uh, get downhill. Didn't really see much from Blackshear in that first half as well. Now Morgan had 14. That's a three. Augusta Knighty. Or check that, Naredo with the shot from downtown. Part of the issue here is you get blocked by the coaches marching back and forth in our line of vision. Sometimes you got to look around Jeff Walls to figure out who made the shot. Ricard's inside with the three fouls. No, the offensive rebound by Harris, and Louisville converts on the putback. Yeah, it's the fifth offensive rebound. They've got uh, nine second chance points now, and that's something you don't want Louisville to have. Georgia Tech needs to get contributions from more than just Tony Morgan, so the shot earlier was a good sign. Dunn thought about it, picked up by Ricards. See how long it's taken them to get in their offense. Only 13 seconds left. Nice counter move there. Blackshear was checked by Cochran. That'll be her first personal. And two shots coming. The Yellow Jackets. Yeah, and you asked what I'd like to see. I'd like to see them get into their second and third progression earlier in the shot clock. Caleb Blackshear, Alabama transfer, 67% free throw shooter. See her numbers this season. Leading rebounder for the Yellow Jackets. Georgia Tech at 15 and 12, 6 and 9 in the ACC. And if you talk to Nell Fortner, she said we could very easily have that conference record flipped around. Go back to the loss against NC State. There have been a couple of other tough losses this year. Came down to the final possession. And it's a young team, so you understand that there's going to be some growing pains. Well, it looks like it comes down to the final possession, but it was really the other possessions throughout the game that led to that. One or two or three different plays could be the difference in the game. We only see at the end, you know, what didn't work. They had the three-point loss at Syracuse, 62-59. to Cochran wide open, this time it's short. And the rebound finally claimed by Georgia Tech. The five-point loss against top 25 North Carolina. Tony Morgan starting to take things over now with 16. So it's a Tony Morgan, Sidney Taylor show for the game. We'll see how they, how they go the rest of the game. And she's just so strong. And she can go left or right strong. Now the second leading scorer in a time she's been the leading rebounder this year for the Jackets. In fact, does hold that edge by .1 rebounds over Kayla Blackshear coming into tonight. Leads the team with 46 steals, so you and I talked about her earlier today. You actually asked me, what are your thoughts on Toni Morgan? I said, well, she may not be the MVP of the conference, but in terms of this team, and how she relates to her importance on any team in the league. I think she's right up there. Yeah, her, her development is key for Georgia Tech and whether or not they get to the postseason. Not the only thing, but a very important thing. Crossover, now the dish. Sydney Johnson attacking. So there you see the assist from Tony Morgan. That's her second. She had 11 assists and 23 points in that NC State game, so. That's efficiency, right? Yeah, absolutely. Tech back in the zone. That seems to have helped a little bit to start this third quarter. Here's Jada Curry outside to Cochran. And a double dribble, lost the handle. 
after she came to a clean jump stop. Sydney Johnson, nice little kick out here. And in the clear out, smart play getting to the basket. Georgia Tech doing a, a better job of rotating in that zone defense and not giving Louisville open opportunities. Cardinals just two points to your point, Coach, in this third quarter. Tech with eight. When Morgan wanted the real estate, now gets it a high arcing three as an air ball. Yeah, that's probably, that's indecision. I, she had a path to drive to the basket there. Cardinals have led by as many as 17 points tonight. Nearly four minutes into our second half. A good take inside by Nyla Harris. Well, she asked for it the first time around on the right block, and they finally got it to her on the left block. Big night of basketball again in the ACC. Oh, and a lot of bodies falling down to the deck and an offensive foul. Blackshear just picked up her third. And on the floor was Cochran in addition to Harris. It's like dominoes. Yeah, they both get taken out by Blackshear, but you gotta, you gotta call that screen though, it's coming up. And Harris didn't even know it was coming. Well, Blackshear, I'm not sure, knew her own strength there. Was able to withstand Two Louisville players crashing into her and called for the offensive foul. That was that was toughness. And Jeff Walls hollering out tempo on this possession as he talks with Jada Curry. Well, that free throw line is open. The question is, how do they get it there? Remember, that was one of the things he kept harping on in practice today. If we don't make our free throw jumpers, that mid-range shot, then we're going to struggle tonight. Now, so far, it's been the Sidney Taylor show with all the threes, five in the first half. When well, the threes are going in early, it's amazing how beautiful the sport of basketball can look for a particular team. Yeah, and if you're a coach, you love that because that means you're going to have one-on-one -on -one for your post in the middle of that zone. Lone Adenas comes up with the steal. Off the Louisville turnover, cards stay in there man-to-man. Now, Ford her total, she expected to see more zone tonight. Shot clock at 10 for Tony Morgan. She'll back it out. Another jump stop. What a tough shot, defended well by the Cards. Yeah, good help there for Louisville. And a hand in the face of Sidney Taylor with 23 first half points. Kiki Jefferson from downtown. Yeah, I think sometimes people tend to forget about her, but she is a prolific scorer. Over 2,200 points in her career. Going back to her time at James Madison. It's JMU that won the Sun Belt last year while she was there. And she was the regular season player of the year in that conference and also the MOP in the Sun Belt Conference Tournament in that championship run in Pensacola. Kiki Jefferson doing it all for Louisville and the lead back to 14 with 4.38 to go in our third quarter. TurboTax makes all your moves count, whether you bought a house or started an award-winning TV show. That's right. We guarantee 100% accurate taxes. She's good. That's Connie. Hey, Connie. Hi there. Introducing our all-star lineup. The Camry. The new Grand Highlander. The RAV4. And the Tundra. Toyota undefeated on the road. It's bow time. Get fired up tonight because Bojangles has your dinner covered. Southbound, scratch made. Not one of these, but one of these. That's more home cooking for your money. Or as we like to say, cha-ching. It's bow time. Bravo! You use the Quicksilver card from Capital One with no annual fee and unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, every way. That makes you the hero of every purchase. Ah! What's in your wallet? We get how uncertain the future is. We've come of age in a complex world face-to-face -face with problems we didn't create. So what's going to happen next? We are. 
because our future is the future. So we're going to build bridges and hospitals in a day and feed those left in the cold. We're going to do all this and more because we have an appointment with destiny. Hello, Moto. Did you know the same video API that does this can also do this and even this? Build powerful experiences with the Vonage Video API. You grew this kingdom. Keep it healthy and thriving. Help protect your family health and finances with Mutual of Omaha. At One Hour Heating and Air Conditioning, our comfort specialists can handle any furnace repair. From simple to complex, we'll get you warmed up quickly. Just call 855-1-HOUR or visit onehourair.com. Always on time or you don't pay a time. Independently owned and operated. Licensed in their respective state or county. Oh, we love the Sonic Blockbuster. It's been a while since Carolina won in Charlottesville. You got to go back 12 years, and you can just see it right now. Tony Bennett running his uh, two hands together, <laughs> working on the pack line defense, trying to get ready for R.J. Davis. 197th meeting all time coming up 4 o'clock Eastern on ESPN Saturday. That is a tough place to play. They play great defense. Really hard to score on, on Tony Bennett's team. It's swarming, it's suffocating, you get no layups, you get no good looks. It is their brand off the timeout. The shot is short and the rebound cleared by Nyla Harris. And if you're just tuning in, the game was supposed to start with technical free throws awarded to Louisville because the shot clock wasn't working. Tech officials figured out a way to circumvent that issue by bringing out another clock that is not above the backboard, but off on the side. Has not bothered Louisville or Sidney Taylor tonight. Here's Jada Curry. That's a three at the horn. And the lead back to 17. And coach, I don't want to dumb it down to just this, but when Louisville's making its threes, they look like an awfully difficult team to beat. Well, and that, that's just knowing your personnel. Morgan doubled down too much, and that's how Sydney told how, how she got open there in the three-point range. Bustinati, 53 to 38. Cards with a season high nine triples on just 15 attempts. Sydney Taylor was the one that really orchestrated the majority of those shots, five of eight in the first half from deep. And, and that's something that Louisville's going to need to do consistently. It's not really something they're known for in terms of three-point shooting, but they have shooters, if that makes sense. It does. Off the bounce, outside, mid-range for Harris. Well, that's her shot. She is money from there. And Louisville is not one of the top three-point shooting teams in the conference. If you look at the Updated statistics, cards are near the bottom of the league in that category just in terms of makes per game from deep. They make a couple of threes early. It sets the table for you late mid-range and also some of those drives. Speaking of drives, inside the bucket for Tech. And Aisha connects. Adonis, that's Juan Adonis that had the layup. Lead back to 15 against the zone. Jefferson's been held in check. She has enforced it. Shot clock at 10. Taylor still hot. 26. Had a hand in her face there, too. She had a four-point play in the first half. That one only counted as three. And the largest lead now for the Cardinals. Well, what you have not seen from Georgia Tech is production by Kara Dunn. Coach, I think she heard you. She launched the three, but came up wide right. Oh, 
Here's Jefferson, baseline up. Couldn't get the bounce. Good contest there by Gustinati. Tony Morgan has led the charge for Georgia Tech tonight with 16. She's only attempted one three and she missed it. Cards claim the rebound off the miss from behind the three point arc. Georgia Tech's only getting one opportunity. They only have three offensive rebounds. It's one and done for them. Harris saves it to Taylor. You know she's she thinking about, about it. it. She thought about it. On the loco, why not? Off the screen this time from 16, and it's money. A great screen, screen there by our teammate, Istana Balulu. The lead at 20. Sydney Taylor with 28 points. And it's the most by a Louisville player this season. And Nell Fortner is going to call a timeout. Well, she is in some kind of zone, and you can see it. Yeah, and they're, they're running things for her and doing a great job there. He talked earlier about using the screen. He said, if you don't use the screen, you can't play for me. So three-point shot there, and then coming off hitting that mid-range jumper that we talked about that they needed to have. When Barbara switched to TurboTax? I broke four generations of family tradition with five little words. Ma, I want to make perfume. <laughs> Getting my business off the ground was a full-time job. So I made Barbara's new site gig count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and a maximum refund. Make your moves. We'll make them count. Intuit TurboTax, 100% accuracy guaranteed. Introducing our all-star lineup, the Camry, the new Grand Highlander, the RAV4, and the Tundra. Toyota, undefeated on the road. Now for just $1.99, enjoy the Sonic Quarter Pound Double Cheeseburger. Because we value value just as much as we value tasty burgers, we decided to shrink the price of this melty fan favorite. In finance, they call that one heck of a deal. $1.99 Sonic Quarter Pound Double Cheeseburger. Hi, you might know me from my other job, but I'm a business owner too. Here at Once Upon a Farm, we chose the new Capital One Venture X business card. With no preset spending limit, our purchasing power adapts to meet our business needs. Love it. And unlimited double miles means we earn more too. Sweet, right? And when we travel, we get access to over 1,300 airport lounges. I could get used to this. The Capital One Venture X business card. What's in your wallet? We're a catalyst to let people of all types of backgrounds be put in the communities that they serve. Is this what lifting really looks like? What happened to lifting weights, not phones? Counting reps, not likes? Pushing it, not posting it? RX Bar, no BS. The ACC's Committee for Racial and Social Justice in conjunction with its member institutions have identified February 17th through the 25th as ACC Unity Week. Back in Atlanta, Helen Williams, Roy Philpott, 60 to 40. And an interesting side note, Sydney Taylor has led the charge off the bench tonight with 28 points, and so it skews a couple of things. Number one, she started every game this year before tonight. If you look at Louisville's bench points, they are outscoring Georgia Tech by a whopping 43 to nine margin. But Taylor has been the starter in every other game before this evening. So I don't know, that could be part of the brilliance of Jeff Walls, pressing the right buttons. Taylor comes off the bench. Maybe we'll see this down the stretch, but I'm curious to get your take on all of that, Coach. Yeah, I, I'm like, is he trying to make a point? But the other thing is... And by the it, way, he didn't tell us about any of this. No, no, but this is a time 
where he can sort of tinker a little bit to see what he might want to do, you know, later on in the year to see if it works. So it could be a combination of, of both. Well, it's a heck of a time to do it coming off of a loss against a team that has tested you in this building in the past, including when you've had teams that have gone to the Final Four. It's come down to last second layups here in Camish Pavilion. Well, uh, I mean, sometimes as a coach, you have a gut feeling about your team, so. And that's, that's the decision he made and getting all these three-pointer opportunities. Curry, the three, and the pose, and a fist bump from our head coach, Jeff Walls, afterwards. A dominant performance in the third quarter. An ACC championship. And tonight, the threes have been falling, coach. They have made eight consecutive three-pointers going all the way back to the early stages of the first quarter. Cardinals haven't missed a three in the second or third quarters yet. I haven't heard of many teams been able to do that this season. Now the offense has been fluid. I mentioned to you off air. They look tonight like Virginia Tech looked against them uh, the other night. Just very fluid offense and, you know, making Georgia Tech over rotate. And they have taken some wide open good shots within their offense. Jeff Walls was standing in front of us during that last time out as he has the entire game. And I say, coach, the fist pumps have been fast and furious tonight. And he goes, well, I love it when they listen to me and they execute the play that we draw up, which they did for Jada Curry. That last play, the third quarter, Tech gets a chance for three to open the fourth quarter. We haven't seen much of Kara done there, but they're smart. She had a smaller guard on her, so they definitely want to get the ball inside. Fourth foul on Curry. And you mentioned Dunn. She's got nine points tonight. But that was the consistent theme in practice this morning as Coach Walls was drawing up the plays and going over certain paths of execution under the basket to try to work his team free for a layup. And he just didn't feel like that his team was understanding what he was trying to implement. It felt like for the first 10 or 15 minutes that we watched. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's really nice when you spend all this time thinking about an offense and you put it out there and they actually execute it the way that you showed them how to execute it. Why didn't we give him a headset and just do a we should have. We should have. right there? He was ready to do it. We dropped the ball. Rare miss for Taylor. That's the first three point miss for Louisville since the first quarter. And it's Taylor, ironically, that was off the mark. So interesting matchup here. You've got Harris on Tony Morgan. It's a bigger defender. So in case she does get by her, maybe she still has an opportunity to block a shot. We'll see what happens. Now Morgan only had two points in that third quarter after 14 in the first half. Dunn was free and then thought too much about that layup. Louisville has led wire to wire tonight. Tech has not had the advantage at any point. It's nearly a steal. Aaliyah Love says, Coach, I got you. The Georgia Tech transfer. Saw her on the floor for seven minutes against Virginia Tech on Sunday, and she's played with a bucket so far tonight in her return back to Atlanta. She gives them some good moment, uh, minutes on defense. Ricard splashes one down with a mid-range. See how Harris does against Morgan on the perimeter. See, that's a contested shot. That's a good adjustment there by Coach Walsh. Dunn inside, a chance for three. Now, Kara Dunn starting to warm up a little bit. Yeah, see their contested shot. So didn't get a box out there by Love. First foul on Aaliyah Love. So they're making a concerted effort to get Dunn involved in, on the offense. Well, she had 31 at NC State. Three the hard way here, the lead down to 19. Georgia Tech not out of it yet, but they need some stops and need to get something warmed up from the outside. Should be a problem, it was a hot day in Atlanta today. It was quite warm. <laughs> It was a great day in Atlanta today, 70 degrees. I perfect see why weather. you live down here. Perfect weather. Felt pretty good. There's a steal. Tony Morgan doing what she does best. So now you're creating opportunities for Georgia Tech, and they're really unforced errors against that matchup zone. 
sometimes Louisville gets in these little funks where they just turn the ball over for self-inflicted wounds. There's nothing that the defense is really doing to make them turn the ball over. And that infuriates Coach Walsh. Dunn's got 13 and five boards. Two of two at the line tonight, and Cochran will wins for a moment. Appears to be okay. Let's see, she'll come out. So Russell checks in. Yeah, that happened when she ran into that screen of Blackshear earlier today. She came off limping, so limping on the same, same foot. Done with all six points for Tech so far in the fourth quarter. Make that seven. Hey, Wednesday on ACC Network, eighth-ranked Duke squares off against Louisville at 7 Eastern, followed by the premiere of Coach K and Roy Williams' Rivals Reunited, a one-hour special featuring coaching legends Mike Krzyzewski and Roy Williams sitting down together with an extensive conversation for the first time since their college coaching careers began over four decades ago. That's I imagine good our good show. friend Wes Durham is going to be a part of that. We look forward to watching and listening to what two legends have to say, Coach. Yeah, I saw the, the previews. I can't wait to watch it. I'm right there with you. It's hard to believe now. It's been a couple of seasons. But John Shire, Hubert Davis taking over at Chapel Hill and in Durham. You got to give those guys credit because to follow legends, I mean, they've Not done easy. a good job. They've done a really good job. Tex doing a better job in the fourth quarter inside the Blackshear. Lead down to 15. I wouldn't be surprised to see Louisville put some pressure on here at some point here in the fourth quarter. You got Georgia Tech on a run. Jackets back in the matchup zone. A 10 to 2 run for Tech to start the fourth. Outside to Jefferson. That's a clean look. Harris on the offensive glass. Blackshear stood her ground. It's tapped out. It'll stay with the Cardinals. And Harris bounced herself out of position there behind the backboard after the rebound. Coach Waltz wanted to foul, but there wasn't much contact there. Coach Walls wanted to foul the second we walked <laughs> in the building tonight. He well, is you gotta ready to go. You've got to advocate for your team. Nobody else will. Well, he's in postseason form. There's no doubt. Maybe it's just our vantage point right behind him. Curry, no. Jackets have the rebound. Moreto clears. Here's the star of the show for the Yellow Jackets, Tony Morgan. Dump off to Blackshear inside. And now a 12-2 run for Georgia Tech. Coach Walls talked to them earlier today about how tough it is to win a game here against Georgia Tech. They're going to guard. They start making some shots. Officially 9-0 in less than two minutes. Sydney Taylor, short. Who wants it? A scrum. And finally claimed by Georgia Tech. Tech getting all the loose balls and not allowing Louisville to have any second chance opportunities. Well, one more bucket here and things start to get interesting. And a foul called on Cochran. That's her third. So now the fourth team foul on Louisville with 6.05 to go, and that could become a factor, Coach. Absolutely. You want to get downhill, get the ball in Morgan's hands, and get her to the free throw line. So a lot of time left in this one. Louisville is led by as many as 23 points tonight. No lead is safe in college basketball in 2024. Morgan behind the back. Step back, Jay. Dunn with the offensive rebound. Tried to spit it in and could not. With the rebound by Cochran. She now has 11 boards tonight. Go along with six points. Jefferson fell down. And let's see, a timeout was called by Jeff Walls. So they're going to give it to him. Why well, wasn't convinced Jefferson had full possession when Coach called that timeout? But apparently she did. Five thirty-seven remaining. Georgia Tech is back in it. Jeff Walls doesn't like it. And an interesting ending. Headed your way in Atlanta when we come back. Marcus is a connoisseur of anything that's free. So he was happy to read the disclaimer on TurboTax Free Edition. Roughly 37% of taxpayers qualify. Form 1040 and limited credits only. See how at TurboTax.com. That's me! 
File your taxes 100% free with TurboTax Free Edition and get your max refund guaranteed. Make your moves count. See if you qualify at TurboTax.com. You ever feel like the only place you can find cars is in car commercials? Oh, this isn't a car commercial. This is an Auto Trader commercial. And this is one of the millions of new and used cars that you can find on Auto Trader. You can find cars like the ones on your favorite show. Oh, no. Or the car in this show. Get out the water. I bet I can even find the cars in my feed. Sure can. You can even find a car in that movie on Auto Trader. Hey, find your own car. Come on in to the Chuck Stop. Everything you need for a road trip to the Final Four. I'm impressed, Chuck. You're gonna need these. Pumpkin spike latte and these mud flaps. I can use these. Jen. Hey, guys. Mm, lucky socks. Wonder what Jim Nance smells like. I smell divine. I'm earning double miles with my Capital One Venture card, so it's on me. Well, what up with you and these subs? Man's gotta eat. <laughs> Childhood rules. The family fun starts at visitcalifornia.com. Here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. We know how to hand stuff our crust with more flavors than anyone else. Ooh, <laughs> like the garlicky seasoned cheese in our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza. We're talking Papa John's iconic garlic sauce flavor mixed with cheese and stuffed right into the crust of your pizza. <laughs> I mean, no one stuffs a crust like Papa John's. <laughs> Try our Garlic Epic Stuffed Crust Pizza. Available now only at Papa John. ACC Women's College Basketball is presented by Ally. Whatever you're saving for, we're all better off with an Ally. Downtown Atlanta, what a time to be alive. And if you're a fan of Georgia Tech, here come the Jackets. It's a 9-0 run, Coach Williams. Get back in this one. Yeah, they've got Kara Dunn. They made a concerted effort to get her the basketball. And in Louisville, Obviously hadn't scored very much from the three-point line like they were. You see Don just getting it done. Pun intended. Let's see what and you did Black there. Shear, <laughs> Black Shear getting it done as well. And 9-0 run for Georgia Tech. Inbounds to Jefferson. She'll hold her hand in a little bit of pain. That was last touch by the Jackets. 5.36 to go. 19 on the shot clock. And a bounce pass is picked off. Naredo came away clean with it. Big possession for the Yellow Jackets. Boy, Morgan wanted to take it, didn't pull the trigger. Naredo kicked it, nearly lost it. Chaotic possession, Dunn has it, corrals it. And will shoot two. Well, a different looking Tech team to begin this fourth quarter. So Dunn back to the stripe after the foul was called on Nyla Harris. That's her first. And Kara Dunn with 15 points. She's been perfect at the line. Five for five. 77% on the season for the former volleyball and basketball state championship winner as a senior. Her mom, Stephanie, played basketball at Georgia. We well, always love that when you've got mom and dad playing for one school and then daughter or son ends up at the rival school. <laughs> Makes for interesting conversation over the holidays. Taylor had it and was bumped. Inez Laredo picked up her second. Georgia Tech already in the bonus. Lead down to 11. So do you go inside if you're Louisville here because they've not been hitting three pointers. Jefferson, well that baseline Jay's been there. Harris off the mark. Dunn clears. 17 points and eight boards for Kara Dunn. Open for three. Well, that would have been enormous. 
Going to slice that advantage down to just eight. Louisville just two points scored the first five and a half minutes of this quarter. You get the screens here, watch for the post players diving. And Aredo picks up the personal, that's her third. Second team foul against the Jackets. Last Louisville field goal coming. 8.30 remaining in this game. And a timeout called by Jeff Walls. That's a good rotation there, but they gave the ball to Cochran too late. She was out of position. She gave up some of that real estate, so she ended up behind the basket. They should have given it to her sooner. All right, so let's put you on the clock here. Ten seconds to shoot. Jeff Walls calls a timeout. What would you draw up if you're him at this point, knowing that Taylor's cooled off a little bit and you only have one field goal in the quarter? I would still try to get it inside. I mean, you're you're – Depending on where he is, I think he's on the baseline. Maybe some cross screen so you get uh, Cochran coming to the basketball. So Olivia Cochran, she's got 12 rebounds, only six points. Three of five from the floor. Keep an eye on 44 and let's see. Taylor's been stuck on 28 points for about the last eight minutes. And this will summarize the game for those that are just tuning in. Georgia Tech. An outstanding run to get back in this game. They've trailed by as many as 23 tonight. Inside to Harris, Nyla collects and was fouled. First foul on Morgan. And that'll put Nyla Harris at the stripe, 72% this season. Nyla has started every game, including tonight, even when Jeff Walls decided to shuffle his lineup at the last minute. And one more free throw coming. Let's see if Georgia, I mean, uh, Louisville puts any pressure on to slow Georgia Tech down, because if I'm then, I'm, I'm trying to get to the basket, trying to get to the free throw line, because there's five fouls, so you slow the clock down a little bit, give yourself an opportunity to score, but you got to make the shot first. One of two at the line. Four minutes remaining. Tony Morgan worked herself free, missed the layup. Louisville the other way. Kiki Jefferson will shoot two. Nice job there on the fast break by Louisville, getting the ball out quickly. Fourth on Naredo. Kiki Jefferson, five points tonight, does have five assists. Leading score for the Cardinals this year at over 13 and a half per game. Now coming up tonight at 10 Eastern after our women's basketball doubleheader, the Nothing But Net crew break down the day in the ACC, highlights and analysis of every game looking ahead to the best matchups on the schedule in the coming weeks. That's coverage you can only find in one place right here on ACC Network and the ESPN app. The lead back to 14. You go back to that three-pointer attempted by Kara Don and could have cut that lead down to eight. It just felt like that was a big moment in this comeback attempt for Georgia Tech. Yeah, it's one of those shots that it's great if it goes in, but they were having success with her at the block getting to the free throw line, so might have should have shown a little bit more patience there on offense. Yellow Jackets turn it over, 3.40 to go. And Jeff Walls telling his team, take your time here, take your time. So here's where you got to make a decision coming off that screen. Kara Dunn guarding Curry, bigger, bigger defender on Curry. So now Louisville shooting every free throw, uh, every foul as well. Dunn picked up her second, Curry at the line. Well, she's had four fouls, it feels like, for the entire game and has made the best of it. 74% free throw shooter. Now, Curry has found a way, despite the foul troubles, 
At 12 points, Helen, and it's just been a calming presence, it feels like, the California transfer, former Pac-12 freshman of the year back in 2022. I like the way Coach Waltz has used her in short spurts here to try to keep her out of foul trouble or try to keep her from getting that fifth foul. The Cardinals now with 50 bench points tonight. That ties the season high. At 50 versus Bellerman in a game that really overmatched the competition. But again, part of that is skewed because Sydney Taylor didn't start, and she scored 28 points. She just courted her third foul here as well. Kayla Blackshear, two free throws. Georgia Tech has never beaten Louisville. Ten previous meetings since the Cardinals joined the ACC. There have been some close games, as Jeff Walls confirmed to us earlier today. But the Cardinals have always had an answer, it feels like, in the previous ten encounters. And again, with every Georgia Tech run tonight, Louisville has kept Yellow Jackets at arm's length. Inside the running one hander. Nice execution there. Just off the horn set, you got the screens at the elbow, and Louisville was patient with that possession. Lead back to 17, two and a half to go. Cochran now with eight points and 12 boards. And let's take a look at our star stories for players that have been crushing it as of late. Brought to you by Crush. And well, for Sydney Taylor, 28 points, most by a Cardinals player this year. Kara Dunn doing an outstanding job as well, already over her season average tonight. Yeah, started, didn't do much the first half, but the second half, they made a, a concerted effort, want to get the basketball into her, saw some mismatches. She got to the free throw line, so that's the 17 points here. Taylor with 23 of those 28 coming in the first two quarters. And when the outcome was still very much in doubt, she kind of put a lid on it right before halftime. Cardinals led it by 15 at the break. Kind of kept it in cruise control since, and now Jada Curry just fouled out. And Tony Morgan telling Augusta Nante, you need to shoot off of that handoff. Sometimes the freshmen, they just run the play, and they don't see what options they have. But she is going to get to the free throw line. Curry fouls out with a 13. That's above her season average. If you're Jeff Walls, do you think about utilizing the starting lineup he did today, or is, you know, is this just a one-off thing? We'll find out after the game, of course, but I'm curious to get your perspective. Yeah, I mean, I think he'll go back and he'll look at the film and see who was productive. I mean, obviously, if you have a starter coming off the bench, if you have the people that are replacing her, if they can just be consistent and you not lose anything, then it's good. I mean, that's a lot of firepower coming off the bench if you're Sidney Taylor. But we don't, again, we don't know why he decided to do that. But again, this time of the year, you want to try to tinker if you can without messing up your team's groove, if you will. You don't want to do too much because, you know, then you'll get your team out of character. But he's looking for lineups that he can use in a postseason. Ricards the soft roll over the front of the rim. Now, the good thing about Louisville, again, is they play so many kids, you have to prepare for, you know, eight, seven, eight players. You can't just focus on one player. In your mind, is this team worthy of being one of those top 16 teams to be able to host in the first two rounds? Because Charlie Cream's update before the Virginia Tech loss felt like Louisville was on the right side of that bubble 
afterwards maybe not and maybe it comes down to what happens at the ACC tournament. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say that talent wise, yes, but it really depends on how they do in the tournament. And, and this is why this game is so important and every game from there here on out is they want their priority is to get that by in the ACC tournament. Well, that's part of it. And then also to be able to host. So, sure. I mean, you've got two very big boxes you would love to check at the end of the regular season. Can we be one of the top 16 seeds? Can we get that double by the ACC tournament? And can we see around coach as he stands right in front of us towards the opposite end of the floor? He doesn't care that we're here. He's <laughs> only worried about his team. I mean, the first two answers and checking boxes were yes. The, the last one was no. <laughs> and he does not care, nor should he. <laughs> Approaching a minute to go, shot clock down to seven. And Ricards works herself free inside. Nice job there at the end of the shot clock. I thought they had the high-low before, but they made the best of it. Now, the one thing we do know, the ACC tournament this year, when you think about what Virginia Tech brings to the table and their star power, think about NC State and how they've been so impressive this year, Louisville. North Carolina with their talent. And you go on down the list, there are so many teams capable of winning two, three, four games. The champion of this conference is going to be battle tested entering March Madness for sure. Yeah, for sure. And right now, as it stands, there's going to be nine teams from the ACC to get a bid. With them and the SEC, those are the two with the most teams that are projected to get bids. Cards the floor to transfer. We'll get one more free throw. And there you see Syracuse in. The Asia Fair, the great job that I love Coach Jack they've has done. done there. Yeah, just nobody paid attention to them at the beginning of the year. And uh, they've just played hard and played really hard for Coach Le Jack. I think she's done a tremendous job there. And it's not just the Asia Fair, but she's got some pretty good uh, running mates as well. You think about Hannah Hidalgo in postseason play as one of the top freshmen in America. Really for one Notre of the top Dame. players in America, not just freshmen. I'll take your word for that in a heartbeat. But I mean, the way she defends, the way she scores, and she can take Notre Dame and really put them in an incredible position. Also, perhaps fighting to be one of those top seeds to be able to host in the dance. Got NC State, North Carolina coming up as soon as we're done in Atlanta. And a sensational night of basketball rolls right along in the ACC. Should be the final possession of the night for the Louisville Cardinals. Taylor for three. Oh, apropos ending for the game. 31 points on that last make. And the Louisville Cardinals will improve to 11-0 all-time against Georgia Tech, and it's all smiles for Sid. 23 in the first half, 8 in the second.